Hello guys and welcome again to another video. This is your host Sam and we are back with Africa Football Connect and we are talking about today's rumors and transfers that are happening on this day. So before we go anyway guys, I would like you guys to click the subscribe button, click right now the subscribe button and click the like button and please share your thoughts down below on this biggest news that we have this whole day that it looks like Ronaldo might be going to Barcelona. Yes, you read the title right. They are saying that Cristiano Ronaldo might be going to partner with Messi in Barcelona. How far will that go? We still don't know yet, but we are here to find out how things will go and we'll keep you updated of whatever that is happening here. But on a different news, it has been confirmed that the son goal that he scored against which team against Burnley has been nominated as the goal of the season for Premier League. So these guys should be happy and be proud of what has happened, that they've actually gotten an award for the season. That goal was just a thunderbolt. How many players he passed it just to go score that goal? So he deserves the award he's getting. So let's go with our transfer. Please don't forget to click the subscribe. Please don't forget to click the subscribe. It helps the page a lot. It helps the page a lot. So please do that right now. So the news that we are speaking, starting with today, they are saying that Paul Pogba is expected. Is expect expects Man United to open a contract talks with these agents. Once the Europa League campaign is finished, he is happy at the club and all parties are keen to get around out on the table, to get around the table and complete the deal. So Paul Pogba, the player himself, the one, remember the guy was thinking of leaving United. Now because of the new manager and how things are going now, he is thinking of tying another knot so that he continues with the club because he is really happy with the club and everything are going very well. So. That is good news for some Manchester United because the duo between Bruno Fernandes and Pogba, it's a duo that's going to go along for such a long time. So these are the rumors we are hearing. Let me hear what you guys think, your, your comments over the transfer, what do you think? So Phil James is saying this, please sign a new contract. Now, nowadays, that Manchester United can't even sign a good player anymore. How would they manage to replace you? True that, true that. There's a Manchester United who's, who's thinking that because United are not signing any players that are of, a, of any use, if they lose players like Pogba, it will really cost them that much. So he feels like he has to sign it. He hopes that the sign is praying that there will be some agreements between the two parts, the agent, the player and the club, so that they can continue their wonderful business that they've been doing. And Michael Hughes is saying that run forest, run. For a very particular reason, still I'm confident with Woodward in charge of the process. Prince will be entering the Santiago Benabao in time for next season start. No idea what this person is talking about. I won't waste my time even thinking about it. Okay, so that's in Ju Juventus have approached Arsenal over a transfer. For Andre Lacazette, the the Benaco, the Benbauco are prepared to include Daniel Ridge or Cristiano Christian Romero in a final deal and see the Frenchman as the as the perfect replacement for Gonzalo Higuain. So Higuain is the thinking of leaving Juventus. So they are thinking that at least Andre Lacazette can actually be the person who comes in and replace like the one who's going out to Gunway Igain. So we have to wait and see how the thing goes. But that's what the news we are hearing. Let me hear what you are thinking of the situation. Emeno Matsi is saying this. Christian Romero was an outstanding previ previous year. Arsenal can take him. Yes, that's what I think. And Shai Zulu is saying this. It would be a great deal for both teams. I don't know what you think, but we rumor uh, that but the Juventus have been treating their prayer players to the West. They sign you today, they throw you away the next day. I did talk about it in the videos that I did three or two days ago, so you can check them out and tell me what you think. Official, it's official that Juventus have announced that they, that Matuidi's termination of 
the contract. They've announced that Madrid has terminated. They've terminated a contract with Madrid. He leaves the club after three years and five major trophies. So it seems like he Madrid is thinking of going to another club. So he has terminated the club contract because I heard that he's going to play for David Beckham's team in USA. That's what I heard. Zoruko, I don't even know what the surname. I can't pronounce this. Ife Jokuwed, something like that. He, re he really played with passion. Best wishes. Okay. Thank you, Andrea. The rebuild has started just soon. So I think it's talking about the co coach that the rebuild of the club it seems like it's already started already by taking out of some old players who have been there in the club for such a long time. West Ham striker Abel Ajit has arrived in Glass Glassyoko as he is closed on a 5 million move to Celtic. <clears throat> okay, so that's the news we are hearing. I wish I knew more about him, so I'm just going to have to go. Sporting Le Leon A. Benfica are leading the rest to sign former Tottenham Hotspur defender Va Jan Vatogen mm -hmm. as a free transfer. So Vatogen, it seems like him and Jose Mourinho were not best of friends. So as he has left the club this season, he, he might be signing a new contract with Sport Lisbon. That's what the news are saying that is they are leading on trying to get the player. Then the favor Shatiso is saying this Super J. Okay, I think it's just that's a Tottenham fan who's losing the the best player of them. I know she's a Tottenham fan because I know the person. Benfica's mini Benfica means business this season. First Cavani, now they're going for the best de some of the best defenders. Yes, they mean business. They want to challenge, so they have to do business. Jack Grealish is set to hold talks with Aston Villa, Saharaki Hierarchy. The midfielder will seek wages in the region of 200k per week either at a new club or if he signs a new contract to remain at Villa. So Jack Grealish last season he was so pivotal for the team for them to survive in this season to continue in the Premier League. So now because they are now sitting down with the club to talk new contracts he's hoping that he get at least 200,000 euro, 200, euro every week. And either the it doesn't matter where he is, either he goes to a new club or what, but that's the price range of the money he's expecting to be receiving every week. That's what the player and the agent think that they deserve. So, let me hear what you guys are saying. <clears throat> Akisha Ubuji, Biuji, yeah, the Biuji, I don't know what that means. He has never rightly single heartedly saved Villa. People may question that they know of goals assist by him by those but those who watch football know his worth if he he had quality to play around him if he had quality players playing around him he would have had many assists and he would have he is a player who is created second most chances than Kevin De Bruyne this season so this person is believing that the player is a good player, but it's only that he has been playing around the good players. Who, players who are not really of his caliber. He believes that if he had good players around him, he could be one of the best people out there. And the man is talking about he deserves it. Tell me what you think. I don't know. <coughs> but there was some point where he scored some important goals and he saved the clubs by setting some important goals, creating some important chances that saved the club. So I might argue, agree with him in a little bit, not exactly 100%. So we have to wait and see on that one. Then Jesse is saying this. Aston Villa will be a mug to play this season. Then get rele relegated next season. Pretty sure he believes all, that, all the hype about himself. Good player, not world class, not worth 200k a week. So this guy believes that yes, Aston Villa are just going to do like what they did this season. They will get relegated. That's what he believes. And he's saying this. He, this guy believes because of the hype that he, the people are just putting on top of him because of what he did in the last weeks. But he's a good player, but not world class, 
but and it's not worth around 200k tell me what you think put it down below below aston villa fans and other people who just loves football in general what do you think about what this guy is saying that is not world class he doesn't deserve that type of money say it down and let me hear what you think done deal southampton have completed the 10 million euro signing of mohammed sesu from rio valiod he has joined a four-year contract on a four-year contract so that's what has happened and the sources the club itself that they've signed a player from from from, from Spain and he has now joined the club on a three year contract. They have not really disclosed anything, that's what we have just been told. So we have to wait and see. AC Roma are in talks with Arsenal over a swap deal for Lucas Torreira and Adama Diawer. The Gunners are said to be to be signing the 23 year old midfielder on a five year contract in the return in return for the Hungarian should mm -hmm. do happen. I don't know who the aura I don't know a lot about him. I don't really watch Syria. I, I do watch Syria but not that much but I don't know how good he is but I know Torreira and he has been looking for game time and it seems like he hasn't been getting enough of mm -hmm. the game time he wanted with the Gunners. So that's why he's thinking of going to another club. So we will have to wait and see how the football is played and how it's going to be agreed but that's the news we are getting right now. Jem Jeremiah Tim is saying this they should get the Awera ASAP can be a likely he can be a likely to party so he can actually play and replace the party Aggre aggressive root fast and strong away inside with the DM position Arsenal need that kind of a player so this is an Arsenal player, supporter and he believes that he did this that. so tell me what you think let me read the other comment then we'll see what we can do Ramson Patrick is saying this I think the Arsenal board are busy buying time every player who's linked with Arsenal and no one has been signed. Pate made it clear that he was to play for Arsenal. Let me see what he's saying because I had to do something. I think that yes, he had read the part and Pate made it clear that he will he will play in us now or party he made it clear that he will play in us now and until now nothing as concrete is yet happened just like among i am a london i am in london and if what happens to woodward of manchester united should happen to those in us now board okay i have no idea i think it's talking about the situation between jordan sancho and Udi and the united and how it ended up i think that's what he's talking about dan deal leads midfielder james sanko has signed a new contract that will end until 2024 good for you Vim, vlamic isaac is set to be named the new head coach of watford on a two-year deal so remember Watford fired their coach before the league was even finished and they lost the league well because they deserved because they've been firing a lot of coaches who were doing very well and now they are naming another coach who will be fired very soon so we'll wait and see when he'll be fired. Wigan striker Kevin Moro is expected to complete the formalities of a two million pound move to Cardiff on Thursday morning. The 28-year-old has been had a medical and agreed personal terms with Cardiff. That Sky Sports was giving us the information. That's in Championship. So this was one of the biggest news that we had today. That a former Arsenal boss, Arsene Wenger, has rejected an, offic an offer to manage FC Barcelona. So it seems like Barcelona were in talks with Arsene Wenger so that they can actually bring him to their club as he could manage the club to actually the glory that they've been missing for some years now. So it seems like he has actually refused and he said that he's not even thinking of doing that. I don't even know what he said but it seems like he has rejected the offer. And the market Adrian is saying no loyal to no loyalty to Arsenal to Arsenal or even or anything 
he would have taken the job only if the club charged charged its president or changed its president that's the problem currently the man speaking like he is one player so it seems like there are some situation or maybe problems that are going on between the barcelona boss and managers so that's why maybe he doesn't want to join is what michael is saying kavan Buma is saying this barcelona cost cost him his championship champions league final why why would we <laughs> what we he want to manage his enemies oh i don't think football is all about that there are no enemies in this football so before I go to the before I continue to this one, there's a story that I'm reading here, and that's saying that Sliman Shah is issue is Sliman Shah issue issues are coming and getting me a plea to Liverpool over 40 million interest break, asking from Watford to free him to win. <laughs> Whatever this person is talking about. Yesterday we heard that Sa is a target of Liverpool and that Watford winger could be the main could be the main to arrive and complete some compete for some minutes with the Sergio Mane or Sa Salah. So this is something that they're talking, I can't read the rest because they're just talking nothing. So we hope that the Liverpool do me some transfer there because we need a player like him. He could actually offer us more than we get the side so Let's see what happens and we'll keep you in touch and we'll keep telling you. So please, be, don't forget to click the subscribe button or click the like button on this video because it helps us more when we do this thing. So it makes the page grow and we actually become a bigger family than we are right now. So please, click that like button, click the subscribe button and share and share it with everyone around you. Click it, share it with your friends and families so that we become more and we enjoy whatever we're doing here and the time we spend here. So we are now in the main news. They are saying this Cristiano Ronaldo has been offered to Barcelona as Juventus look to reduce their gigantic wages bill or their, their gigantic wage bill. Imagine if we had just one season of Cristiano and Messi playing together. That would be crazy. That would be one of the best football partnership or duo whoever who ever seen football time and you will be seeing them as these players are reaching to their last time they are now doing this as they are about to go retire it will be just amazing and the 2020 2021 will become one of the best seasons ever yet even 2020 was the worst year this will become the best so let me hear what you guys are saying well if that were to happen a certain unfortunate team can get a beating it will always remember i think it's talking about real madrid that real madrid will be beaten badly by a messi a barcelona with messi and ronaldo in it and the ronaldo actually pay back what the real madrid did to him when he was about to leave how that that story ended at the club Super Rain is saying this. Don't just imagine if it can. It can. Don't just imagine it can never happen to reality. Sierra Seven's career is done and dusted, but for marketing wise, he is still valuable. Okay, that's harsh. That's why they're saying that he, Sierra Seven is no longer the Ronaldo we know him, but I don't believe so. See, Ronaldo is still one of the best strikers out there. He's still one of the people to look at because he can surprise you. He can score amazing goals. Did you see the goal he scored against Leo? The second goal, it was one of the most amazing goals I'd seen. So don't can't tell him out yet or judge him out because he still has some minutes and some years in his legs. Give him time and you'll prove you wrong. All you guys are saying things. PSG President Nelson Ali Fika is insisted that Kylian Mbappe and Neymar will stay at the club for the rest of their careers after last night's Champions League win. Wow, that is to be crazy. This guy believed that Mbappe, the, the president, believed that Mbappe and Neymar will retire at PSG. <laughs> I don't know what he thinks that who, what he thinks if the guy doesn't want to sign a new contract you can't do anything to the player 
Let me hear what this guy is saying. Katlego Draxler is saying this. Oh, it's called Katlego Draxler. Neymar will stay at PSG. He will stay at PSG because he will be getting what he wanted the most. He what he wanted the most. Barcelona is not good at PSG these days. He really needs a huge impact. I don't know what this guy is talking about. But did you watch the game yesterday between Atlanta and PSG? PSG were just no way. There were just no way. Only last two, uh, last two minutes where they show up and actually did something because the guys were tired. Let me hear what this guy is saying. Don't make promises while you are happy. That is very wise. That is very wise. A good lesson for this guy. You should never make promises while you're so excited after winning a Champions League and going to the semi-final after a long time. So he was too excited. That's why he said all those things. But in reality, in coming to reality, he knows that that will never happen. PSG and Manchester City are both interested in Bayern Munich midfielder Thiago this summer. The League One giants have made an initial 30 million bid for the Spaniard, but are not are now expected are now expecting City to enter the race. So it seems like PSG did make a bit for this guy, but I don't know what has been happening. There's been some stalling and things happening. But now Manchester City are interested in the midfield. We don't know how this thing will play out, but this is how things are looking at the moment. I think I know what Manchester City's sale pitch will be like. You wanted to go to Liverpool. They are not interested in you. Now come and prove them wrong and how important of a player you are. Come help us beat Man Liverpool so that they will remain they will regret not signing you. That's what I think. We have to wait and see what happens. Arsenal's target, to Thomas Partey, is looking for a, at least £200 a week deal if he moves to the Premier League this season. So he's really demanding a lot of money for his services. Uh, Sumo Zwade Valu is saying this party is one of the most of the world's best defensive midfielders. So why wouldn't he demand that? I think I am talking to the people saying that he is demanding too much. Then Arsenal have a bunch, have a bench warmer earning 350k a week. <laughs> Football can surprise you. He's talking about Mazet Oze that is earning 350k a week, but he's just warming the bench. So if party demanded this amount, which is 200k, it is he's really worth it of getting the man because he's one of the best players out there. So we will have to see and what see how it goes and who's going to win in this race. Gerard Samuel Jr. is saying that yes, he is leaving a champions. Is leaving a Champions League side to come to play for a team that is in Europa and are build and are building. So what? So what is he asking for? A fat paycheck. It's only a logical from an Arsenal fan. Oh, it's only logical for an Arsenal fan. But oh, he's saying that he is leaving a team that is already qualified for next season's Champions League, and they are still in the Champions League as we speak, and is coming and demanding a lot of money. So he's just saying he should use his logic. That the money is talking is just too much. Oh, seven hours ago, and the Jordan Sancho situation is back again. They are saying Manchester United's first. Contract contact of offer to Jordan Sancho would have been would have seen him make less money per week than he is currently on. Okay, so let's hear how this Jordan Sancho thing is going. Also, they are saying that the money that is Jordan Sancho was offered, the first money that United had offered Jordan Sancho was going to be less than the money is making currently right now in Dortmund. While their second offer measured the Dortmund wages, United continued to struggle to agree a transfer fee with the German club. So I think they are just trying to remind, 
that's of the bygones i don't think it's really important to even think about because remember this thing is over according to the judgment side so if the club that wants to sell the player are saying this is over there's no way to go because they're just refusing and they have a contract with the player who's still there so for some years for the in the club so there's nothing we can do so manchester city have made an open have made an opening offer of around 58 57 million pounds Plus bonuses for Napoli centre back Kulibali, Kudu Adi Kaludi Kulibali, but it is thought that Napolo will hold out for at least six three million up front. So up front, so it means they are expecting more, or maybe from the bonuses. But they are saying Napoli needs sixty three million, and United had made City had made fifty eight million. So we have to wait and see what's going to happen with this. Your comments are saying this. Priska Kim is saying this. And when we will sit, wanna stop this buying. And Stephen Aogu is saying that sit and sit and and really joking. That's how a serious club should act. This is business. They haven't signed the player yet, boy. You only say those things when you know that there's something that is happening. Five hours ago, Belgium defender Ventergon. Is set to join Benfica on a three-year deal contract following his deal expiring at Tottenham. That's Sky Sports giving us the information. This we did talk about it, so we're just going to pass. Wolves are in talks, are set to offer manager Nuro et Santos, a, Nuro Espiro Santos, a new year five million a year deal to keep him at Mellowhood. I don't know, they didn't exp explain how many years he would take there, but they're saying that they're in talks with the club. So that's what is believed to be happening. They're in talks with the manager who, is, who brought them in the Premier League and he has been able to keep them in. They're fighting for Europa. They've been fighting for Europa. They were just in Europa. They're thinking of offering more money so that he remains at the club. So good luck to him and we hope that he enjoys what he's doing at this club and they continue on all the deals and things that they're doing. Deal, done deal. Matuidi has signed for David Beckham's MS, ML, MLS side Inter Miami after leaving Juventus. So Matuidi has now confirmed the deal and is moved. Four hours ago, Juventus have made Palo Diabala availability for sale again this summer, but will only accept an extremely lucrative bid for an interested team manchester united and spurs are interested the last way interested last season but we don't know this season who are interested in so paulo dibala it seems like they are trying by all means to get rid of him let me hear what this guy is saying andrew Agoro. this pillow of a man is a is very stupid oh he wants he wa he wants to clear juventus don't be surprised after selling here them he will be pricing Adama, Lingard, Jones, Kepa, David Luiz, or Ozzy, etc. He's just making fun of this new manager of of, of, German, of Juventus. But we'll wait and see how the, the story will go on. David Silva is stalling on a signing a three-year deal with SS last year. Talks between the player and the encountering and clubs have grown to heal. Have grown to heal. Hit with the Manchester City Mysterio considering his options before putting a pen on the paper. So it seems like there have been some agreement between this one, but he is one of stalling because maybe there might be other offers from elsewhere. We'll have to wait and see how this one goes. Deal down, Celtic have signed Aben Jim, the one the West Ham for a four-year deal with 5 million around 5 million so this is something that they're telling us so william is expected to announce to be announced as arsenal's player in the next 48 hours the winger is, is a free agent and after leaving chelsea earlier this month so it seems like he, william really wants to join chelsea so now they're saying he's expected to be announced as a arsenal player in the next 48 hours so we will hope the best for him and we'll see how things will go Leicester's whooping 80 million valuation on Yibenchiwe could be yet be met 
as a bidding war for him is back on. Manchester United have joined Chelsea in the race to sign the fullback. Daily Mirror is the source of the story. So these are the things that are happening all over the world, guys. That's why we are hearing the most important news, like we said, is the Cristiano Ronaldo situation going to Barcelona and also Arsene Wenger refusing to join Barcelona. That's another story of another day, but oh, it happened today on the same day. So what do you think of these transfer rumors? Who, which transfer rumors do you think they're actually going to materialize and it's going to happen? So we have to actually find out how things will go and we'll talk about it. But before I leave, before I go anywhere, there's some development that just happened in the Thiago situation. They are saying that Liverpool have officially contacted Bayern Munich over the signing of Thiago. So it means that after Manchester City opening the, the ears and the eyes over the player, Liverpool are now getting into this deal because they want to sign. They are now interested in signing the midfielder. We will have to wait and find out what happens. We know that the player said he's happy and he wants to go play for Liverpool. And now, because Liverpool are now talking with the club, there might be something that is about to materialize. It could be the second signing of Liverpool. So this is some good news. We have to wait and see how the things plays out. But this is the news we are just receiving. And this could actually be very good for the Liverpool fans and all the people that are around in this football. So this was 31 minutes ago. We have to wait and see what happens. So that's saying that Napoli have a gentleman agreement with Lili to sign Gabriel Mad Gabriel Guinness should Kulibala leave the club. Manchester United are interested in the 29-year-old centre-back. So this is another news that we are hearing from the city of Napoli that they have already looked for a replacement for Kulibali if United or City come for the player. But this is what is happening. So the, the new news that we just received is that Liverpool have now made contact with the club Bayern Munich to get Thiago and Manchester City are interested in Thiago, also PSG, so it means there will be a fighting war over the midfielder. But uh, Liverpool are lucky in this situation because the players are also already interested in joining the club. So we just have to wait and see how it goes. And also the Ronaldo deal, we will be, we'll put, keep our close eyes on it and we'll see what will be happening as soon as anything materializes. But these are the stories we are hearing. So today, before I go, I just thought, let me just do this video that because I did a video for this uh, talking about the Champions League. I didn't get any views. Can you believe it? Any views. So let me just put it in the transfer news so that if there are people interested in watching. So Leipzig is playing Atletico Madrid. Yesterday I was sure I was correct about the team that I was winning, but I wasn't correct about how, how much uh, like how much with the team going to win. So today it's Leipzig over Atletico and Atletico is winning this game by three goals to nil. That's why that's my verdict and that's what I think. If you have any question on that, put it down below. I'll be back again with another video explaining what I was saying and what will be happening next. So thank you very much for watching the transfer deals. I hope you enjoy and you'll be expecting the best for your players and your teams that are being linked with these players. Let me hear what you, ex what you think and put it down in the comments below and please don't forget to subscribe subscribing is better for the page it helps the page a lot and it helps these guys us to go on the next stage and also just like and share with other people who are watching it will be very good and it will be very fruitful for us and we'll be really appreciated guys so thank you very much for watching and we hope that we meet on another video this has been your sam on your host for africa football connect we'll be meeting very soon as we'll be doing other things for tomorrow because today i think this will be my last video but tomorrow i'll be back again with another video talking to you about what will be happening next so thank you very much i'm going out signing out bye bye just watch any videos that is appearing here. It will actually help you. So, signing out again. Bye.